Hello! Welcome to Sugar Glider Diaries. I'm Kimberly. This is one of my two amazing boys, Dominic. And he's going to be my co-host for as long as his attention will hold. He said he would help me as long as he got oh, orange oh, juice. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. I also have my sugar gliders with me. Stella Luna. And... Balky. Yep, Balky's in there. And Natiri. Okay, so today we're going to be putting together another toy from the Sugar Glider Flower, <coughs> or the Suggy Flower Fairy. I will put all the links for her business in uh, the description box below. Uh, who is the su Suggy Flower Lady? The Suggy Flower Fairy oh. <laughs> is a magical person that puts together kits for people that want to build their own true glider toy without having to buy all of the pieces and plan it. She plans it. She makes de makes Wait, directions. Magical? Yeah, she's magical. Uh, she's a fairy. Is, is, is a fairy is real? <laughs> she's actually not a fairy, but she's a very nice lady. <laughs> and she lives in the UK. So she probably speaks with an accent. With an accent like, hello. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hello. Would you like a cup of tea? Don't don't be mad at me. I know that was a terrible accent. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> you good? Would you like a spot of tea? I don't know how she talks, but she makes kits <laughs> for sugar glider toys. <laughs> she makes sugar glider toys. And today we're going to be putting together Flower Fairy Bee Pulley toy kit pink and yellow colored so this is the toy that we will be assembling today on sugar glider diaries <laughs> how, how are you making that voice <laughs> doesn't take much effort sweetheart it's pretty bad okay it's oh, good thank you it's funny thank you i'm glad you appreciate it okay so the really cool thing about sugar glider Suggy, it's not sugar glider, Suggy Flower Fairy, is that she plans out everything. But I found from my first video, if you haven't checked that out, you probably should, because Dominic enjoyed the bloopers, didn't you? Did you think that was funny when mommy messed up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I messed up not because of anything that the Suggy Flower Fairy did, but because I didn't read the directions. <gasps> Aren't you supposed to read the directions before you do something? Mm -hmm. I just kind of skimmed them. Or skimmed them. Like Skip. red pieces. I skipped parts. Didn't read it carefully. Why? Because I was lazy and in a hurry. And it didn't work out very good. It wasted 20 minutes of my life and I'll never get back. Mm -hmm. Want to show everybody your cup? Mm -hmm. You are too cute. R2D2. That's right. Okay. I'm getting over a cold. I have my juice with emergency tablets in it. <laughs> Much less cute. Okay, so when you get the package, it comes in pre-done step-by-step packages. So like this one is step one. And then it also comes with a um, paper that gives you step-by-step -step directions and it's labeled and numbered and everything. So as long as you read everything, it goes very nicely. So the first thing that you do, and I've already pre-done this to almost everything, but oops, I've almost I've already pre-done this for almost everything, but I wanted to leave some things to show you guys what to do. So I've already done this to all of the bags um, but I left this chain undone and I left this bag of extras undone so I could show you. So Dominic, did you know that sugar gliders can get hurt if you don't take the proper precautions? You know what that word is? If you don't see these little sharp things, feel that with your finger. Kind of pokey. Do you think that a sugar glider's foot would could maybe get cut if they jumped on that? And pulled really hard. Mm -hmm. So see these little kind of little barbs? I'll put it on my forehead. That's cute. 
So you want to remove all of those. So you'll need some just regular fingernail clippers, a file. I use the cheap files you can get at the dollar store and then I just cut them in half because that way it's easier to get into the tiny crevices. And then you also might want some, I always bring some scissors just in case. So if you have flush cutters, that's even better, but I don't have flush cutters. Okay, so you just take the little barb and you cut it off. Can you feel that? Is it sharp anymore? Oh, I can first it a tiny bit. But is it sharp? No. Nope, not sharp anymore. <clears throat> so we have to look on this chain. Oh, this one. Yeah, let's look. Oh, I look. Oh, yep. You're going to find one on pretty much every single piece of chain. Dominic, do you like sugar gliders? Yeah. What do you like about them? Like, they're cute. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I just like them. Can you just reach into a, the cage and just grab them? No. No. What do you have to do if you're gonna if you're gonna touch them? Uh, I don't know. Maybe ask mommy to help you. Yeah. All right. Maybe this is fun. This is fun. So, um, Tom, you did a good job on this end of the chain. So if you haven't watched my first video, by the way, um, the reason why I'm doing these kit videos is because the Suggy Flower Fairy sent me a gift um, just to thank me for what I'm doing on this channel, and it included two kits. And so I asked her if it would be okay if I did, if I filmed me putting them together. So um, the Suggy Flower Fairy and I are not in like an exclusive partnership or she's not paying me any money to do this or anything like that. I'm just doing it because I wanted to. Okay. So that's done. So if you guys haven't watched my first... Is, is this a big part? Is, it, is this a big part? Mm. <laughs> no. Just if you can if you can trim it with the nail with the nail clippers, then trim it. And if you can't, then I will file it. How's that sound? Okay. Um, if you guys haven't watched hey. my <laughs> <laughs> You're turkey. If you haven't watched my first video, uh it's pretty entertaining. Not the whole thing. The whole thing is probably a little bit tedious to watch but in the middle I'll I'm gonna when I post it I'm gonna put um you know like timestamps so that you can fast forward through stuff if you want easily but <clears throat> it's pretty entertaining because I have a whole section in there where I just really was not doing super well with a step because I didn't read the directions like I said so you should be sure to check that out the toy turned out really, really cute. And I learned a lot. It was my first kit. I've put toys together before, like on my own. <coughs> but it was my first time doing a kit. Now. Now. So now we're going to put this hey. back in the bag. Where it goes. What? No. No what? No kissing. No kissing? <laughs> I didn't kiss. Yeah, I know. You're silly. Um, then I trim it. No, don't. I need it. Mm. Okay, so this is the bag of extras. Last time I needed that for sure because I messed up. So okay, now so now we're going to read the directions. So we already did this vital preparation part, which vital is the filing it down. And now it says we're going to work with bag number one. We will construct the basic spine of the toy, working first with the following components. That means pieces. The bee, 
the flower head and it lists off all the other things that we're gonna use. Before we begin, we need to prepare our daisy head. Turn your flower head over and you will see a small stalk attached to the plastic leaf base. So here's our daisy head. So what, what are you supposed to do? Oh, I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm not listening. You're not listening. Yeah. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it says, uh, turn the flower head over and you will see a small stalk attached to a plastic what leaf stalk? base. Like this. Okay. Flip this stalk flush, remove the plastic base and set aside as we will be using this in construction. Okay. So I'm going to... Yes? Can I have a boost? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to clip this and then be right back. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to remove that. Ease the pedal one by one off the center plug and lay on top of each other on your work table. Keep them in the original order. Throw away the center and plug will not be using these parts. Okie dokie, pokey smokey. Trying a different angle. I'm kind of just learning this stuff as I go. So the other video I had over to the side and I kept kind of moving to where you couldn't really see what I was doing. So I'm hoping this will be better. <coughs> Sorry. This cold is just lingering and lingering. Okay, so this part, we're taking this part out. Turn the page. To assemble, feed your long zip tie through the underside of the plastic back of the flower. Then feed each petal into your zip tie, one at a time, being sure you are placing them in the correct way. Remember, we are working from the bottom upwards. Now thread your zip through the hole in the base of your bee and up through the top pre-drilled hole. I, thread I was ill. That's okay. So what's happening? Let me just finish reading this. Thread the last chain link in one why, end. Why do we keep whispering? I don't know. Thread the last chain link in one end of your shorter four link, three millimeter chain piece into your zip tie before threading backward into your B and flower working your way backwards, come out back where you started. Okay. So, I need to find my B. Isn't he cute? A B, B, B. My long this is my song. Beep, 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 get out of my way. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, thank you, B. Oh, do I need that? Oh, no. How about a sting? A sting? Yeah. I don't want to be stung. For me. Oh, no. Ouch, my nose. What if you're allergic? Oh, here's my, okay, so here's my four link thingy. I'm just gonna empty these parts so that they're all visible. From bag uno. Uh-oh, I'll move these so you can see. Okay. Uh, have you been taking trick or treat? I haven't. I've been waiting for my things to dissolve, but now they have. Oh, now you can't see my face. <gasps> Not that that's a problem, but... <coughs> Feed your long zip tie through the underside of the plastic back of the flower. What? Why did I... <coughs> A co-host isn't supposed to be gulping things. 
pretty sure. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna feed. So I put it through the this. Yeah, you don't want to be on the show anymore? I want to. You don't have to. You certainly do not have to. play my iPad. Well, you're not going to play your iPad. No, you can go why? play with your toys if you want. Why? Because you already played on your iPad this morning. Well, well, well maybe I can go outside and, and play with the Jeep if it's charged. I think that's a wonderful idea. I'll, I'll come back and I'll make the video as long as you, 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 you can do it. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> you heard it. He'll be back. I love him so much. He's so fun. He's seven years old. He's at a really fun age. I mean, every age is fun, but... Okay, let's get his boost out of the picture. I'm so sorry, I keep coughing, you guys. Okay, so I thread it all through, then feed each petal into your zip tie one at a time, being sure you are placing them in the correct way up. Remember, we are working from the bottom upwards. Yes, I did that. Now thread your zip through the hole in the base. Oh. Base of your B and up through the top pre-drilled hole. So there's a hole in the bottom of the bee. There's a hole in the top of the bee that she pre-drilled, which is so nice because these toys are kind of a pain in the tushy to do that. My least favorite part of toy making is the drilling part and that's all done, so. Yay. There it is, okay. Through there. Thread the last chain link in one end of your short of your shorter four link three millimeter chain piece onto your zip tie before threading backward into your B and flower, working your way backward to come out the back where you started. Okay, so I thread my four piece chain. I'm gonna go back under, one back through, make sure it comes out the bottom and goes through each layer of the petals. So in my last video, I'm getting over a cold and I swear I look like death. I mean, that's the worst part of doing these videos. It's very humbling. Um, mostly because I don't, my lips just look like super, super pale. Anyway, oop, okay, got it. But you know what? I don't think you guys really care, so I shouldn't care either. Okay, so now it's all the way back through where I started. Be sure to check when threading zip ties that you're working the right way as if you're, as if not, your zip tie will not close learned that on the last video. I'm sure that was in the instructions for that one too, but I didn't read that because I thought I was better than needing to, but I was not. Almost spilled that. Okay, an easy mistake we all make. Thank you, making me feel better about myself. Before we close and fasten our zip tie, we need to thread through we need to thread through the last link of one end of your longer seven link millimeter. So let's see, there's two. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here it is. Fasten your zip, zip to close and zip tight, ensuring the flower and bee are both sitting tight and flush. You may need to jiggle a bit. I think she means this. Mm, but we want no gaps anywhere. 
top, bottom, or in between. Everything needs to sit snug and tight. When you're happy, give a last final tug. When I'm happy, what if I'm sad? Give a last final tug and snip your zip end off flush. File your cut edge smooth if necessary. Okay, so I'm going to, so what I'm trying to do is get the, kind of the square end of the zip tie nice and close to the bottom before I start feeding my other zip tie through it. I think that tends to work better for me and that's one mistake I made in the last video. So now I have it flush like that and now I'm gonna try to feed it through. Oh man, that works so nicely when you do it the way she says to. Okay, I'm jiggling it, no. Working it around, making sure there's no gaps. Little bee is so cute. No gaps. So now you snip off the bottom. Let's see if I can shoot it at the camera. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay, and then you make sure it's flush so that um, they don't get their little paw hurt. Goodness, how cute. Cute, cute. Okay, on to the next step. Now thread one C link through the top link of your upper chain, lock to close with the lock, link lock, and thread the second C-link through the first. Okay, so this is a C-link, and, and I'm gonna lock it with this link lock. And then I'm gonna put the second C-link on there. When I was first doing toys, it took me a while to just know the names for things. So these are C-Links. Um, these are one version of a mini link. There's also another version of a mini link, which is more common in the United States anyway, which is these. They also come in hearts and star shapes. Okay. To complete the skeleton of the toy, we now need to attach the wiffle ball. Lower the lower chain through the center holes, feeding from the top hole through the ball, coming out on the hole directly opposite from the bottom. And she does have pictures, which is so nice because without pictures, I would be lost because I'm a visual learner, which is why I love YouTube. This puppy through here and out the hole on the bottom. Got it. Get it, got it good. To secure thread your transparent oval link onto the lower link. So I just snap on that little, okay. So these, I've never seen these before either, but these are really cool. They're like transparent, like she said. And they are like a C-link, except for they don't actually have a gap, but they do have a, um, you can, so they're really, really tight. So, works good. Okay, this is, oh, I know. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to stick my tongue out, apparently. I'm going to stick my... Ah, and stick that through there so that I don't keep losing it back into the wiffle ball. These pulley toys, not just specifically the ones from Suggy Flower Fairy, but just pulley toys in general, are, are some of my sugar glider's favorite toys. So uh, this would be a great kit to get. I didn't realize that they liked pulley toys until I got one. I got a Christmas, I got a wild hair this year to decorate. Okay to decorate my um, sugar glider's cage for Christmas. And I got a pulley Christmas tree toy and realized after doing that, that I had a tail carrier and I had no idea before that. So, because he never tail carried anything um, that was loose in the cage, like bracelets and stuff. But then apparently the pulley, because the bracelets are attached to a chain, I think it's easier for him because I think 
I caught him tail carrying one time and he looped his tail on the chain part and was pulling it that way. So this looks like I have like a bib. Okay, there we go. I always look awkward. I always look like I have one huge lump in the center of my chest and a bib, but anything for the babies. Next page. This is going quite smoothly, I should say. Now slip your last 10 link, three millimeter chain length into the same oval C link. Oval link, not C link. Okay, that's this one. This is really fun. I really enjoy this. Okay, so slip that in there. That's done like that. Okay, we have now completed the basic skeleton of our toy. Before moving on to bag two, we will prepare our charms and bell for hanging later. Okie dokie. You will find four charms and a large Liberty in your bag, along with connectors for hanging. Double thread your bell with two large connectors and with the charms connected, connect with first with a small connector and then add a bigger one for hanging. So these are called connectors apparently. And there's two different sizes. So there's a small one and a bigger one. Hmm. Okay, so I put the small one on there, she says. And then the bigger one for hanging. All of her stuff is so bright. Um, I'm doing my spring cleaning of my cage right now. And uh, so I'm gonna put all of the stuff that she gave me from my unboxing in there. I'm so excited. Oh, so smaller and then bigger. Uh, the Sasaki Flower Fairy ships worldwide, by the way, which I didn't really realize until she sent me something. I'm in the United States, as you can tell by my fancy accent. And um, I didn't realize that I could get stuff from her, but I can, so yay. Set your bag one aside for decorating later. All right, that to the side. I love, that she just has pictures for everything, which is so fantastic. Working with bag two. I'm gonna empty the contents of bag two. I've never seen this tiny little chain before either. It's super cool, I like it. Okay, empty the contents of bag two onto your work table. To begin, we will work with the four lengths of the two millimeter chain. Oh, this is two millimeter chain. All right. Four bracelets and one each charmling, smiley mug, prism forager. Oh, that's what this is, a prism forager. Oh, I love it. So this, you can put treats in there and it's not super easy for them to get out. So it makes them work harder. I always like making my babies work hard for their treats. These components will form our four pulley chains. To prepare these parts, we need to add connectors before hanging. To prepare your bell ball for hanging, I've already drilled this for you, thank you very much, and attached a zip tie to secure thread, to secure thread a large round connector and then zip your tie to fasten securely. Okay, here's my bell ball. She's already drilled this and she's already put, I didn't have to put this in, which is really nice because this can be kind of a pain in the tush to do. And she's already done it, so thank you very much. Uh, to secure, thread a large round connector and then zip tie to fasten securely. Snip flush and file closure if necessary. Oh, let's see if I can shoot it to camera. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna file that a tiny bit. All right, that's done. Mini link to the connector and then set aside. Uh-oh. I used a mini link instead of a connector. Poop. Okay, let me see if I can... So remember, these are mini links. 
these are connectors. I'm not really used to working with two different things. So I made that, that was my bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my connector. I think these are, I think these are uh, hardier. They're less easy to break. So now, whew, that was a close one. Okay, now I put my mini link and then I'm setting it aside. I'll set it to this side. Add a large connector to the handle of your smiley mug. Okay. Got it. Attach a small connector to your prism forager. Okay. If there are no small connectors in this bag, check your extras bag and uh, add a larger round connector to the smaller one. Okay, I will do that. To create your pulley chains, first we attach a bracelet to one end of each two millimeter chain length. So she does that with these little connectors. I've always zip tied, but I didn't know that these little more sturdy connectors even existed until I got this. So I will do that then. Okay, so you attach to the end. I think I'm going to put orange with the black. Before we attach the pulleys, take a look at your wiffle ball. You will see a row of four holes running around the top of the ball. Oh. I kind of have my ball crooked. I was supposed to put it through the top and I put it through this one. I don't think that really matters, but we'll see if that matters. Oh, you know what? I can just fix it right now because I didn't, it's not zip tied which is nice. It's just that using this connector. So I'll just fix that right now. So story, um, oh gosh, some people might be wondering why you would need more than just a couple of sugar letter toys. And one reason why I like to have a lot and a wide variety is because it keeps their brain stimulated. So it's kind of like if you have a toddler and they have, you know, 20 toys, say, and you have them all out all the time, they tend to get bored. They get o almost overstimulated. And so then what happens is then they, they, they get bored. And so then what I've found as a parent is I take away some toys and then reintroduce them later and it's like a brand new toy even though they've played it with it before. Sure letters are the same way. So I have toys in their cage always, but then I swap, I, I'm constantly rotating the toys. So they always have something new in their cage. Usually they have one thing new every couple days. And so I like to have a wide variety. I also really like to be able to decorate in different color schemes and stuff like that. So um, that's just for my preference. Obviously they don't care about that, but I do. Okay, so there's a row of four holes running around the top of the ball, which I do see that. Under the center placement, below this is, this is another row of eight holes. This is the row we will be feeding our pulley chains. Okay. Um, taking one length of the chain, thread it through one of these holes and then let it drop through the hole directly below. Using one of your prepared accessories, attached to the other end. Oh, cool. Okay. She does this differently than I do. Usually when I do a pulley, I have um, like this. What she's saying is it's going to end up looking like this. So one end has a bracelet. One end has another item. That's fun. Okay. So I'm going to take my bracelets and continue to attach so in a lot of my videos I refer to three millimeter chain this is three millimeter chain this apparently is two millimeter chain that's pretty cool 
she says to use the row of eight holes. So this one, it's not, not the row of four, but the row of eight. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll attach one of the other items to the other side. If you don't have these kind of things, you can also use zip ties. Like the little mini, like the this size zip tie. That's what I've done in the past, so. But this is kind of nice because then you can, it's easier to move it back around. If you don't end up liking something, you can switch it out. that works. The other reason why I really like pulleys is that you you know you remember is how you set it up the night before. So like I always have it even and then the next morning when you see that it's like this then you know that they've been playing with it because it's obviously different than how you had it the night before. So it's like evidence of them having fun. To prepare your mini mug, mini mugs for hanging, attach a medium connector to the handle of each mini mug, and the butterflies attach a small connector to each, and then a second medium connector to hang. Oh. Attach a butterfly to the fifth link from the bottom of each pulley, and a mini mug to the link above the sixth, so the sixth link from the bottom. Work your way by adding both a butterfly and a mini mug to each end of the pulley chains. So these are the mini mugs, which these are great because that you can put a little treat in there or a little drop of honey, and then they can forage for that. I have mini mugs on like everything. A medium connector to the handle of each mini mug. Okay, Hi, Dominic. I need to uh, uh, get Jesus boost. Okie dokie. Okay. Cool. Does it turn out cool? Yeah, what are you making? Well, it's so the sugar gliders can loop onto this with their tail and they pull it into their sleeping pouch. Cool. Lots of pulleys. You know what's nice too about all of these pulleys is that as you, as they play with them, they make noise as they bounce together. And the more charms and stuff you have, the more noise they make. And that's just another level of enrichment for your sugar glider. So cool. Okay, so I got all my mini mugs prepped. And now I need to prep all my butterflies. So she said you take a small connector small connector to each and then a second medium connector to hang. I talked about this in the last video, but sometimes um, I think that it would be a way better idea to do a kit instead of buying your own toy supplies for a couple reasons. One, financially, I think it's actually, you end up saving money. It's cheaper than buying a pre-made toy or a custom toy because you're not paying for the labor of your vendor making, actually assembling. I mean, obviously this is taking, this takes like an hour, hour and a half 
to actually put even a simple toy together, let alone the time and, you know, organizing everything and buying everything and yada yada. So you figure, you think you're saving money by making your own toy. Uh, or no, I was talking about buying a pre-made toy. Anyway, so when you buy a kit, you're not paying for that labor. But if you're trying to make your own toy, what I find a lot oftentimes is people will buy all the pieces, but you kind of have to buy the pieces in bulk, especially for like a toy like this that has this much variety. You're not going to find this much variety unless you have a wide variety, like a big stock of charms. You know, she doesn't have a bunch of the same charms. She has like lots of different kind of charms. Um, none of her charms are the same. And usually when you buy charms, you buy like 50 of these or 50 of these. You don't buy, you could buy, you can buy mixed charms. Um, but a lot of times, especially if you have like, oh, I really want flowers. Like you can't do that unless you're going to buy a bulk of one kind of flower. So that's a mistake I made. Not really a mistake. I do enjoy making toys because I enjoy the creative process, but it's really not necessary. I probably spent more money than I really need to. So this actually saves money in the long run, which is pretty cool. Okay, so attach a butterfly to the fifth link from the bottom of each pulley and a mini mug to the sixth link above. This. Okay, so, so one, two, three, four, five. Butterfly. And then above that is a mini mug. I like alternating colors, you know, so it's not like all pink on one thing. One, two, three, four, five. Bye bye. I think that everybody that does kits is as detailed as her either. I don't know because this is the first kit I've ever gotten, but this is pretty impressive. Like the level of detail that she has in her assembly instructions and packaging and all of that. It's pretty impressive. If you're saying, hey, I make kits and mine is that detailed, great. I would be happy to see that and I would be happy to do a video of it if you really want. I have no idea how popular these videos are going to be. They might be not very popular, but it helps the vendor and I am all about supporting vendors that come out with high quality, safe toys. A lot of times vendors, unfortunately, are not safe. Um, there's way too many sugar glider vendors that advertise for as being safe and they're not. And I've learned that the hard way because I bought stuff and it was a total waste of money because it was not safe. And I think that's just wrong. So I'm all about supporting vendors that do it the right way. I think that should be rewarded. I figure with these videos too, like maybe people will just kind of buy the kit and then we can put it together together or They'll, they can watch this before they buy the kit and make sure it's something that they really want. Um, they could just watch it while they're making their own toy. Um, let me know if there's anything that you really want. I'll probably be doing these type of videos. I mean, if people keep sending me kits to do, I'll keep doing the videos. Um, I honestly don't <clears throat> plan to just go out and buy a ton of kits just because I already have a lot of toys but I'm happy to do the videos but before anybody sends me anything obviously they'll need to contact me and I will give them my information but first I'll talk about make sure they're actually safe 
and well-respected vendors before I agree to doing that. So I'm never going to do a video that's promoting a vendor that I don't believe in because that's just wrong and I would never do that. Um, if somebody said, hey, like somebody from Exotic Nutrition, who I am not a fan of because I've wasted a lot of money when I first got my sugar gliders buying safe things that were not safe. If they ever reached out to me and said, hey, would you do a video on our stuff? I would say, a no. I might educate them about how messed up their business practices are, but anyway, that's just a little rant there for a second. Okay, so I did that. I attached a butterfly to the fifth link from the bottom and a cup to the sixth link from the bottom. Now returning to our bag one, so those contents were over here to the side. Now I have them in front of me. Unwrap your pre-curled straw bundle. Oh, see, I didn't know this. That's what this is in here, apparently. Cool. Um, remove the attached links. Lock and loop your C links into... Okay, I'm just going to remove this because I can only do one step at a time. Cute. Cute. Liz... She just makes such cute stuff. Okay. This, okay. Remove this link lock and loop your C link into the last link of the center chain. Remember that chain that we hooked on at the beginning? I'm gonna move that into this last thing there. Hang your large Liberty Bell on the top link below the oval connector. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna put the link lock back. I'm assuming I'm supposed to do that. Sometimes these link locks are a little tricky to get on there. Okay, got it. And then I'm gonna take my Liberty Bell and it says to hang that onto the top chain. So see that's hooked on to there. Top link below and the oval connector and your charmling flower head on the sixth link down. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like how she gives detailed instructions on like even the decoration placement because I think sometimes that comes easily for some people and sometimes it doesn't. So they might get a toy and like assemble it and then they're like, this does not look anything like the picture because they didn't know exactly where to place everything. Finally, attach a charm to each link of your top hanging chain. Okay. So remember we already pre-prepared those. These colors are just so pretty for the spring. I'm excited. Okay, that's done, cute. Stand back and admire your work. All tangled there. See, they're gonna love this because it's just so like, listen to that. They're gonna have so much fun with that. It pulls through so nicely. So one thing about pulleys that I will say before I end this video is you don't want to hang your pulley toy too close to the bottom of the cage. If you hang it too close and say they um, pull on this one, say this is the bottom of the cage, they pull on it and they kind of like ride it down, they could hit the bottom of the cage. When it's, when the the pulleys are this short this is a really nice safe length because even if they did that's not a far long way to fall but some people make pulley toys and they're the chains are really really long which i don't recommend because the gliders can actually get tangled up in those if they're super super long not if they're like this long but if they're super super long plus they ride the pulley down and they can smash on the ground that was dramatic anyway So she just talked about how, how this toy is gonna to promote tail carrying, how they're naturally inquisitive. They love um, different textures and different sounds and pulling on stuff. 
foraging. This has, this toy has like everything. So again, this was the, the bee pulley. So if she still has that available, um, I would definitely recommend this toy. This is a great, great toy. I love it. All right. I'm going to finish adding a couple little leftover things and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.